Christmas time is here. Everybody knows there's not a better time of year. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today is our Christmas special. Um, we are going to be opening up a fat pack from 2014, a couple years ago. Uh, and all the contents are going to be going into the Patreon build a pack box. But wait, there's more. We have uh, a package from one of our amazing viewers that we're going to open up. Uh, and see what we got. So let's go ahead and we're going to flip cameras here. Now I've uh, blacked out the pertinent information. Um, and then I'm going to do my best to pronounce this name. It's Balky Shendlik, uh, Shen. I had this figured out. Balky Shenklinars? Shenklinars? Shenki Lars. Okay, I think that's it. I, either way, I greatly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and see what we have inside. Be careful not to press too hard while cutting through this because I don't want to cut my playmat. And okay, we got bubble wrap. Oh, the. Okay, I see. The, it's originally part of it, I do believe. Okay, never mind. I got this, I swear, folks. I'm excited because they're supposed to be, according to the uh, customs form, because uh, uh, he's coming from the Netherlands. Um, there are sealed packs in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. So this is the loose cards. And then these are our packs. Is it's like it's Christmas? It's holy cats! Are you serious? Return to Ravnica, cons, Dominari, and an iconic Masters. Holy cats! Thank you so much. All right, let's toss this aside and oh, we got a note here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off camera just in case there is any kind of information in this. Um, okay, nothing in here. That is is uh, damning or anything like that. So, all right, dear Chuck Wagon MTG, I have been a consistent viewer for well over a year now, and I have to tell you, you are the best MTG pack opening channel on YouTube. <laughs> Holy cats, man! That, uh, uh, th thank you. Thank. I mean, I try. I really do try, um, and I'm glad you appreciate it. But that that still warms my heart. All right. Uh, the way you involve your patrons in your videos is brilliant, and even if it weren't for a couple of unfortunate circumstances like international shipping, amen to that. And the lack of sufficient payment methods, uh, I can't become one myself. I don't blame you one bit. Um, unfortunately, uh, international postage is... It's a fickle business, and uh, there's really... There's no way to improve it, un unfortunately, uh, because essentially once it leaves one country, that country's like, okay, my hands are done. I did my part. We're good. And that's unfortunately what the breakdown is. But anyways, I digress. However, with the holidays coming up, I do want to support your channel in some way. So that's why I'm sending you this as a gift to the channel. Included, you'll find four boosters from recent past, uh, from the recent past, and a stack of singles. You can put them in the build the pack box, or if there's some cards you want for yourself, that's fine too. Well, thank you so much. Um, I know how rough life has been for this year, and thus wanted to show you my support through the magic of Christmas. No, if it doesn't <laughs> arrive on time, Happy New Year, I guess. It did arrive on time, so thank you so much. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and may the channel grow even bigger. Best regards from the Netherlands. Balky Schenkelars. I hope that's no. um this is this is so touching. I I am like <laughs> kind of blown back by this. Thank you so much. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna file this away. I keep everyone's letters by the way that are sent to me. So 
Oh man, what do we do? Do we do packs first? Okay, no, no, we'll do we'll do some singles. We'll we'll see what we got for the the singles. Now the majority of this, yes, is gonna go into the build a pack box. Um, I mean, there are a few things that I really look out for that I might snag, but for the most part, I'm gonna you know do this the way it should be done and, and give it forward to the patrons. So let's go ahead and see. First off, we've got a foil. Excuse me. Um, throne. Forest. Oh, oh, these are all four. Oh, snap. Got a Ravnica and, oh, a Magic Fest. Two Magic Fest forests. Oh, oh. Uh, and another, oh, man. A Foil Magma Giant. Man. Nahari's Wrath. Holy cats. Cavalier of Thorns, another one I love. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I just holy cats! This is this is insane. This card is just I love the, I I love krakens. I mean, it's, they're essentially ridiculously expensive, but when they do stuff, they just obliterate, and it's so fun. Um, patchwork gnomes. Oh man, oh man. We got a fairy miscreant. Dead weight. Epic Experiment. One of our patrons actually got the, one of these uh, last month, I think. This month, so. Acidic Slime. Oh, that is such a good... This is all foil, by the way, people. All of this is foil so far. Holy cats. Acidic Slime. I love this one. A Death Touch creature that destroys stuff when it enters. Can't get any better. Immaculate Magistrate. Uh, okay, looks like we're getting into the regular cards now, but still. Oh, an OG Garrick Wildspeaker. Look at that. Oh, we got a Daragaz the Igniter and Dragon Skull Clamp. Who doesn't love Skull Clamp? Uh, Moss Warp Bridge. Eternal Witness. Holy cats. Ghost Quarter. I mean, these are like staples. A f oh! Okay, so I used to own a bunch of these player rewards cards. And I've slowly gotten rid of them, and I, I kind of regret it. But holy cat. So yeah, here's one of the full art player rewards pyroclasm. Uh, Mef Mephidris Vampire? I don't know that one. Uh, each creature controls vampire in addition to its other. Oh, so it makes a... Oh. Oh. That seems kind of good. Yeah, I like that. Banefire. Love Banefire. We got a tectonic reformation. We got a formation. Mentor of the Meek. That's a good one. Oh, traumatize. Yeah, go ahead and take half your library and just get rid of it. And, ooh, Mirror Maid. Another good one. Holy cats, man. This is... <coughs> this is out there. This is out there. Um, The only one that I can see off the bat that I might have some interest in is Clockwork Gnomes. I will see if I have a foil copy. If I do not, I may be taking this one for myself. Um, but if, if I do, then I'll go ahead and, and put it in there. But yeah, the Clockwork Gnomes, that's just, that's fun stuff. All right, man, oh man. All right, so let's, I think we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. No, like this. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, we're good to go. <laughs> oh, man, once again, thank you so much, man. This is just over the top. You know, when, when he, he actually sent me um, an email, uh, or maybe it was a DM, but anyways, essentially saying, you know, this is what I want to do. Um, can I get your address? You know, yeah, sure. And I, I honestly, I was expecting, like, you know, maybe a couple packs of cards and some loose singles from Standard. Not all this. This is just, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we got in here. We'll just kind of flip through here, um, because I don't think... Is this the one with the rats? I don't think it is. Uh, Eldest Reborn. My favorite out of all of them. It really is. Out of all the sagas, yes. Uh, Board the Weatherlight. We got uh, Quindy, Pride of Fyrvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvvv
Um, we made a deck a while back with this that was just gross. Um, I don't remember what it was. I just remember playing that. It was a mono black. Uh, it used the Cabal. But anyways, that's what we got. That is the rare in the pack. We're going to go ahead and set these off to the side because we don't do basic lands uh, or tokens in the box. Let's see what we got in our cons pack. I apologize, folks. I, I cannot shake this cough for the life of me. I've had it for weeks now. Salt Road Patrol, Skaldkin, Arrowstorm, Horde Chief. This guy was an all. This was an all star, uh, in limited, because for three mana you got a total of three four power toughness put on the field between in two different bodies. So that's just amazing. Uh, Hooting Mandrels, another good one. Jungle Hollow. The Secret Ponyback Brigade. If you were already in a couple of these colors, that was almost a guaranteed grab. Um, yeah, fun stuff. Ooh, Arc Lightning. Ice Feather Aven. That was another good one to pick early on. Murderous Cut. And then, ooh, the Lich Lord. That's not... Oh, and there's an emblem. Yeah, I don't... We don't really have a spot for emblems. Yeah, I'll figure out what to do with that. But anyways, yeah. The Lich Lord, that is good stuff. All right, the return to Ravnica. The OG return to Ravnica. All right, we had an Axeman Stag, Deviant Glee, Avenging Arrow, The Worm, Dramatic Rescue. That's a fun card. Shred Freak, Sundering Growth. That's not bad. Goblin Electromancer. Love that card. Monitor, Rune Wing. All right. Hey, we got a Rakdos charm. Um, I don't know where it's at, but I know that was a thing. Uh, we got a Pyro Convergence. And then a Dryad Militant. With our rare being a Voltaic Rig. All right. No idea what the price point on that is, but that's some fun stuff. And I'm, pr I'm pretty sure the Rakdos charm is good. Um... Was there still a deck that runs a lot of this? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. But anyways. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's in our Iconic Masters pack. Where's the slit? There it is. Couldn't tell you how many of these packs I tried opening like the regular way. And it was like, my goodness, I can't get into these. And then come to find out they got the tear open. All right. We got a Kiln Fiend. Student of Ojitai. Mana Leak. Wild Size, Virulent Swipe, that's a good one. Draconic Roar, Shimmering Grotto, Mind Stone, Radiant Fountain, Dirkwood Bayloth. All right, we got a Murek Nightblade. We got a Hero's Bane, a Stagger Shock, and a Sarah Ascendant. <laughs> Excuse me. With a Foil Electrolyze. Um, I don't know where Sarah Ascendant's at, but... That's a good card. And then the foil electrolyze, that is nice. Well, man, th once again, thank you so much. I so appreciate uh, you sending these to me, and uh, especially the note. The note really, really made it. Because, um, you know, this is, it, it, it's a lot of work uh, putting together a channel like this, and I just, I, I appreciate that, that, that you guys are appreciating it. Uh, I guess the way I am, uh, because this, I just, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tongue tied now just thinking about this. Uh, anyways, that's going to the Patreon build the pack box. Thank you so much. I, I really, truly do appreciate it. All right. Now we're moving on to the next portion of this little gig, which is the core 14 set. So six years ago. Um, there's not a whole lot of crazy stuff in this, but we do have, uh, slivers, which I love me some slivers. Um, and then we've got, uh, uh, is it cavern that's in this or no, not cavern. It's, um, oh, the man land, um, 
Mudavolt. Mudavolt is the one in this. So we got there. We got this. And then we got the, the deck boxes, which... I mean, I keep these, but I use them to mail cards. I really don't use them for deck boxes. Um, and then, of course, we got the packs with our 20-sider, uh, our spin-down. And then the land pack, and that is it. I mean, we do... There is also the... I suppose I should take this out. Because uh, not everyone has seen these. We've got the, uh, the player's guide that comes with it that has a list of all the cards in the set, along with a brief tutorial and let's go ahead and hope the glue hasn't gone too crazy on this sometimes when you uh this uh like rubber cement or whatever it is they use sometimes it dries out a little too much uh and it tears the plastic but twas not the case this time around you're coming off there awesome and that is our beautiful chandra Man, I love that artwork. Good stuff there. Alrighty. Put that aside. Put that aside. Alright. So, oh, I just hit the mic. Hopefully it's not too loud. We got some packs there. Oh, I forgot the little instruction manual as I flip cards around. Okay, land pack. Uh, this, the land pack, is not going into the Patreon build a pack box. Um, I actually keep um, all of these that I get, and I keep them on my desk. So when I've got like a long box that has cards in it, but it's not quite enough to have, to fill it up to the point where they're not tipping over, I use these to fill in the space. So that's what that'll be used for. Let's start cracking some packs. Once again, this is all going into our Patreon build a pack box. Check out uh, the description of the video. You'll find a link. I think you'll find that we have lots of good little tiers uh, for everyone, and they're all very fairly priced. So we're just go ahead and skim through here. Um, there is one common that's actually worth over a buck, and that is the uh, Shadowborn Apostle. That's not in here. Uh, we got a Shimmering Grotto, Spell Blast, Stonehorn Chanter, and then a Quicken with a Foil Rootwalla. That's a nice way to start, right off the bat with some foils. Alright, do that, do that. Alright, and what was... Oh yeah, this is the little rule insert that comes with it. Alright. Yeah, Shadowborn Apostles um, is in this, in the common slot, and those are a couple bucks. Um... Would really love to get a foil one out of this box, but yeah, and it's like I said, slivers. Oh man, slivers. Love slivers. Uh, my oldest EDH deck is slivers. Uh, we got Steel Form. We got Brow Pack, Briar Pack Alpha. Elixir of Immortality is another one that's uh, it's not up there anymore, but it's still worth a little bit simply because um, EDH it prevents you from being milled. And then we got a Ring of Three Wishes. We're going to call that a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, I honestly don't think it's that much. Uh, but it is a mythic, so that's kind of nice. Alrighty. No, no, no. Alright, I think we did get a foil, though. We got a Banisher Priest. We got a Dragon Egg. We got an Air Servant. And then we got a Dark Prophecy, followed by... Not a foil, because I was wrong. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. So, yeah, if you, if you want to uh, have a crack at any of this stuff... Now, none of this is going into the Patreon Build-A-Pack box until after uh, December. Uh, that way, everyone has a fair shake. We've already done some videos for Patreon, Patreon for December, so uh, we don't want it to be unfair. We want everyone to have the same shot at this. Uh, no. All right, we got a Fire Shrieker, Dark Steel Ingot, Phantom Warrior, and a Domestication. Let's see what we got in this next pack. We're going on 20 minutes. I'm sorry, folks. 
Uh, let's see. Do, 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 nothing. We did get the Manowaf Sliver, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think that's still over a buck. Staff of the Magus and Wall of Frost. And we did get a foil. We got a clone as our rare with... Oh, a foil Pyromancer's Gauntlet. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right. I got excited because I saw the one black man, but that's not it. We got Nacorder's Shield. We got Phantom Warrior, Staff of the Mind Magus, and then Chandra's Phoenix. All right. Nothing, but we did get a foil. We got a Rod of Ruin. We got Shiv's Embrace, Vial of Poison, and a Life Bane Zombie. That guy's fun. All right. The foil for this pack is an Advocate of the Beast. Two packs left. Let's see what we can't do. All righty. And nothing. All right. We got Wall of Swords. Rod of Ruin, Enlarge, and then a Witch Stalker. That's a fun little card. A 3-3 three, three for 3 with Hexproof is not bad, but if you, your opponent's playing blue or black, he gets bigger when they do stuff, so that's fun. Last pack, let's see what we can pull out of this. Will it be a Shadowborn Apostle? No, it won't be. But there is another foil. Uh, we got a Steel Form Sliver. We got an Artificer's Hex. Congregate with our last rare being a Prime Evil Bounty. Two Mythics. Look at that. All right. Our next, our foil is, is black. A Duress. A Foil Duress. All right. Well, that's not too shabby. All right. Well. That's essentially what we got here. Um, I don't think there's anything too crazy. Primeval Bounty seems like it could be good. Like I mean, it's an EDH type thing. Witch Stalker. Get that. Lifebane Zombie is not bad. Chandra's Phoenix. The uh, Pyromancer's Gauntlet. That seems good. Clone, Domestication, Dark Prophecy. Um, I don't know where it's at. Ring of Three Wishes. And then we got Quicken and the Foil Root Walla. All right, well, that's about it. Like I said, check out our Patreon. It's in the description. Find a link to it. Check it out. In fact, you can find a list of pretty much everything down in the description. Um, all the decks we've done, you know, deck techs on. Uh, it takes you to our tapped out page. Um, you know, everything you could need to get a hold of us or want to learn about us. So, anyways, if you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click the like button. button hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification button. So you can tell we have new stuff coming out. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could do use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and you can find us on all the social medias, Chuckwagon MTG. We can cuddle up 